just starts off with the finished drawing, kind of an action with this mallet hammer. And again, when you start off, you're trying to get a line of action with the head to start with, and then the uh, kind of the body or the rib cage, and then the pelvis. And following that line of action, and then the stick figure still coming out for the legs and arms. And then as we've done the uh, hand illustrations, the feet aren't too much different on some of these characters. But uh, once you get the line just like a stick figure, then fill it out with these circular shapes, if you remember. And I'll build that piece up. So here's a detail. So the hands, again, are pretty expressive. So if you can get that part kind of pretty accurate, then it helps. So I'll try to leave the face for last. And it still has that egghead shaped character, but two circles to make up the nose because it's a different type of character. And it is almost from a profile to a three-quarter view, so you have parts that you see and parts that you don't. <clears throat> and whenever you get lost in something that's a little bit more organic, just break it down into the geometry to help you place that in there. And we'll build that piece up. And same like with the tongue. So little details, even though it's kind of a loose sketch to start off with. You know, because even you don't really have to erase, you can just shade right over the top of it. Something like this mallet is pretty geometric shape, just two cylinders inverted into each other. So it helps. Now just trying to make the heavier lines on the bottom. <laughs> and build that section up. And just that thin and thick stroke again helps with that piece. And the shading, whatever the hatch lines are, go with the form because it'll accentuate the volume as well as give it the texture for it. So it'll be a good combination to it. Shading the cylinder with the highlighting, going in the reflected light, kind of putting like a metal band down there just to give it, and then all the lines of action that you can put in. Build that piece up. And again, the shading just going to separate the light and dark pattern to really emphasize that. Sharpen these squirrely activity. Put a little ground plane in there just by representing a little bit. And there you go. Gives you the final piece.